Have you and your significant other been discussing buying a home, but aren't sure when you should seek out a professional advisor? This video will teach you the best timeline for connecting with a local realtor so that you can plan accordingly and not feel like you are jumping the gun or acting too late. I'm Bailey Beckman, a local realtor that specializes in the Twin Cities, assisting young couples find their first homes together. Before connecting with a realtor, it is important to share the reason why you should have a professional advisor during the home buying process. In an industry that is always changing and is market driven, I would always recommend the help of an active, licensed agent. Realtors are required to stay on top of the current laws as well as understand the paperwork and contracts that are necessary to transfer ownership of homes correctly. Your realtor should also be skilled in negotiation so that they can get you the best deal possible. A realtor will also be able to help you see homes that are active and point out potential red flags that may come up in an inspection, as well as send you off-market opportunities so that you can potentially avoid multiple offer situations. There are hundreds of ways for a real estate deal to fall through, and it's much easier to tackle with a realtor by your side. Plus, buyers do not pay for representation in the state of Minnesota. The seller of a home pays the commission to both their own agent and the agent that brings a buyer in. Our duties to you as a client are found in the agency relationships and real estate transactions disclosure. We have a duty to be loyal to you as our buyer and will only act in your best interest. Realtors also have a duty to be obedient, which means we will carry out all lawful instructions. We are to disclose all material facts that we know of that might reasonably affect your use or enjoyment of the property. Realtors also have a duty of confidentiality, so if you share private information, we are to keep it confidential unless required to disclose it by law, such as material facts. We are required to use reasonable care in the performing of our duties as an agent, and finally, we account for your money and property received, like earnest money. Everyone moves at a different pace when it comes to buying a home, but as a general rule of thumb, I would recommend that you connect with an agent six to 12 months before you are ready to submit that very first offer. If you give yourself this length in timeline, the less stressful the whole process will be because you have time to prepare and feel less pressure. I would also recommend that you and your partner interview two to three agents to be sure you have a professional that will not only get the job done, but one that you and your partner get along with. This should be a fun process. In addition to meeting with a realtor, I would recommend meeting with a lender six to 12 months in advance to be sure that you are taking the right steps to save and prepare financially. A pre-approval will typically take three to five business days to process, depending on how fast you supply the necessary documentation. You and your partner will need to gather pay stubs, bank records, and a few other pieces, depending on the lender. Your pre-approval will typically last three to four months, so you will have plenty of time to search for the home without the pre-approval expiring. Remember to not make any major financial changes during that pre-approval time. Now that you know the best timeline for connecting with a local professional, you can plan accordingly and not feel like you are jumping the gun or acting too late. If you enjoyed this video, you should check out my other video about buying a home before you are married. If you are ready to set up your first realtor interview, feel free to set up a consultation on my online calendar. I have the link in my description.